Welcome to So True, and today's devotional is entitled, On the Other Hand, and it's based on the text of Daniel 3, 16 to 18. In fact, I'm going to take time to read the text. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. In May 1940, the British army was pinned down on the beaches of Dunkirk with a German panzer division tightening the proverbial noose around their neck. Escape looked improbable, if not impossible, for the 365,000 British soldiers. Death or capture was the sure outcome. Yet in the midst of this crisis, an impending catastrophe, a communication, a note was sent back to London that consisted of only three words. But if not, it was a message to the British Parliament and the British people that if a rescue was not possible, that the men would fight bravely and not cower in the face of Hitler's army. Inspired, the British nation rose to the challenge and thousands of boats crossed the calm and foggy English Channel in answer to prayer and delivered the bulk of the British Expeditionary Army from certain disaster. The words, but if not, sent back to London from the beaches of Dunkirk were straight out of the book of Daniel and relate to the dangerous and daring episode in the life of Daniel's friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You can read about it in Daniel 3, 16 to 18. Unwilling to worship under the penalty of death before the image of gold erected by King Nebuchadnezzar, the three Hebrews reminded the king that God is able to deliver them in the face of his threats. But if not, they will never comply with his command to commit idolatry. Despite the threat of a fiery furnace, these godly men express a sweet submission to God, born of a burning love for God and His glory. Their statement expresses a bold belief in God's ability to do anything, but their belief is not presumption. They understand on the one hand, God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that they can ask or think. But on the other hand, they understand their deliverance may not be His perfect will. They were sure about the part of God, but they were not sure about the purpose of God. There is a beautiful balance here that is worth emulating. True faith in God knows his power to save, sustain, and safeguard. But that bold belief in the bigness of God must guard the freedom of God to act sovereignly as he wills. Daniel 3, 17 to 18, Daniel 4, 34 to 35. With the example of the three Hebrews to follow, we must remind ourselves in our natural desire to be free from sickness, troubling circumstances, hateful enemies, or desperate times, to recognize and respect God's freedom to act in ways contrary to our instinct for survival. God is able to heal, but he may not. God is able to deliver, but he may not. God is able to answer prayer, but he may not. And when that is the case, we must, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, continue to worship regardless. Job 13, 15, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. The words of Jesus in Matthew 26, 42, Lord, if it's possible, take this cup. That's the cup of suffering that will happen at the cross. If you can take that away, that would be good. But if not, then your will be done. Listen, recognizing that God may not do something he is able to do and us be good with it. It's not a collapse of faith, but a confession of true faith that simultaneously recognizes God's sovereign ability and sovereign autonomy. Believing in the God of miracles and yet happily serving God without the miraculous is the height of faith. To add, but if not, to our conversation with God or man is not a faithless act of preparing for the worst but an affirmation of complete trust in God, in a sovereign God, in an all-wise God. When circumstances challenge our faith, let us believe that God gives his best to those who leave the choice to him. Mm -hmm.